Hello everybody, this is out of the box unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this uh, air pump with uh, piston compressor from Parkside available at Lille and it will be split it into uh, actually into three parts. Uh, I mean first it will be a theoretical then I will try to inflate this ball and then uh, I will move into my car and try to inflate a car tire because uh, in my opinion this will be a so-called uh, ultimate uh, test for such compressor for DIY usage um, because car tire requires a significant um, uh, pressure so I will, I will test this um, air pump okay without further ado um, basic parameters it's a uh, motor power it's a uh, uh, 1100 watts uh, maximum um, operating pressure it's 8 bars uh, rotation speed uh, uh, 3550 rpms but rotation of what I mean compressor and um, the uh, suction capacity it's approximately uh, 800 sorry 180 liters per minute and uh, you have a bunch of accessories included uh, together with a 5 uh, meter cable uh, and air pressure holes up to um, 3 meters. So first of all I have to admit that this time manual is not sufficient because you've got, you've got those parts and actually you need to figure it out how to connect uh, each of them and I'm not joking with manual you have only let's say basic picture what you have uh, uh, in this set and then actually there is a no explanation whatsoever what to in, uh, connect with what it's up to you and your creativity how you how you connect it so I have figured out that okay this is quite easy those I don't know those those fittings uh, can be let's say for some uh, mm, swimming pools I mean garden swimming pools uh, for mattresses something like that and uh, yeah and how to connect with a compressor I'm just guessing it should be done like this but this small one for me okay it, it can be connected again like the, like so but this joint for me it's I would say could be better and there is a question mark how to connect this one and only uh, what I have figured out it's here but you need to have a special key for that and it's not included into a set and by the way just look on this um, rubber seal it's it's jammed so either uh, somebody did not pay attention or it should be like it is like it like it like they have um, uh, made it look into this uh, rubber uh, seal it's here in my opinion it should not be jammed but coming back in my opinion this is the only um, way how to connect it and those fittings okay I can imagine that it should go here as well but some kind of pictograms it would be uh, good to have so now I will start the, the motor and try to inflate this this ball just to just to check how it uh, runs uh, and then we will move into a uh, mm, into my car and I will try to inflate uh, car tire okay so let's turn it on and by the way the, the joints are quite standard so all of you who have worked with a high pressure should should have no problem so let's turn it on quite noisy and I will just check uh, do we have uh, some pressure 
and not so many and actually the whole pressure vanished okay so let's turn it on and let's wait a bit for pressure and uh, then I will try to inflate the ball It's for me too noisy, so I'm just guessing it should be okay for for the ball. But uh, uh, the capacity, I still I'm not able to find what is the capacity of uh, of the pressure storage. I mean, there is a, there is a suction capacity of 180 liters, but I don't think it is this value. Okay. And, and, and that's it okay so now I get it it don't it, it don't have uh, any uh, storage in, inside like uh, the um, proper compressor have it's only working uh, when it's turned on so another approach I'm turning it on and try to inflate the ball Okay, the ball is uh, inflated. So um, what I can complain about is the noise, but the, all compressors are noisy like this one. I thought because I was, let's say, uh, doing it spontaneously, it has some kind of buffer in it, but it hasn't. So only you are able to use this um, compressed air when it's working so uh, you cannot expect a silent uh, operation I mean you cannot pre uh, pressurized it uh, before some kind of e even small job you constantly uh, have to face a uh, noise coming out of this uh, compressor okay now let's move into uh, my car and I will try to inflate a car tire And we are back and as you could see uh, this compressor was not able to inflate tire at all so I have end up with a flat tire so I need to go to a nearest petrol station in order to uh, inflate my tire and with what is even worse it's that um, actually after connecting the joint was uh, loose and even 
uh, I was losing the pressure while trying to inflate. I was uh, trying several times and uh, no, uh, please, uh, if you uh, think to use it for tire inflation, please don't buy it. If you think that this kind of tool uh, can be helpful in your DIY jobs, might be. But please take into consideration that because it has no storage tank for the pressurized air, it will constantly work and it has a 97 decibels, which is a lot. Okay, the, 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 you, you, can, you can buy some kind of uh, longer hose and this compressor can be a little bit uh, put it on the side. But nevertheless, it's noisy, it's not efficient. And for purposes of inflating, for instance, car tires, it, it, it totally not working at all. It's a waste of uh, money. So that, that's my, that's my uh, judgment. I'm curious about your opinion. Please share with me and with others because sharing the, the comments and sharing your experience help uh, make a proper decisions to, uh, to other persons. Thank you very much. Take care and see you next time. Bye.